that people are gonna spin the block as soon as you make a hundred k or a million. He wants to stand the loop again. You're only in the loop. Women don't get why they get dogged out by rich men, but most rich men can't went on that path to that journey because they got dogged out so much in that rat race. And then when they get out and they actually get that bag by themselves, boy, like for you, you for all you women that want them so niggas in the top 1%, themselves. you better start you treating us better at the bottom because we're them. Mm. Treating you better Say that one at more the time. bottom. For all you women that want a top at one the or 5%, center, you better start at treating the, the niggas bottom. at the bottom that you see that got some grind better because we're them. The you just bottom. don't see it yet. That nigga like you was don't us come five, out ten years ago. The coochie rich. So keep on sleeping on us. When I jump out this rabbit wheel, it's up. A lot of men from the. I don't really know if this is my last time, but what I know is I'm feeling just fine. My ass is like the red carpet, and I'm feeling like the richest millionaire. This is my local man, and I'm the biggest star around here. What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. <laughs> Subscribe or die trying. I've seen that a lot. A lot. And the young lady, she sounded confused. I don't know if she was just sounding confused or she was doubling down and agreeing with the guy. So I'm not going to jump to conclusions, right? But people don't realize, like, everybody, you know, 90, <laughs> how can I say this? The, the majority of rich people aren't born rich. Okay, so what you see as a guy along the way is you see people flock, you see young ladies flock to people who have more than you, right, or who have the potential to have more than you, and life is not a sprint, it's a marathon, so, you know, there, there's an old saying that um, in the entertainment field of, you know, be careful the, like the person that you talk to crazy that may be the janitor this year might be the executive next year. So basically be careful who you, how you treat people. Be careful who you're talking to. Don't disrespect anybody. And people have found this out the hard way. And what that guy is basically saying is the same thing. Like some of you ladies don't realize you, you're, you're disrespecting guys who will one day be the guy that you want. And sometimes you meet the guy that you want and you don't take into consideration that that guy was the guy that you didn't want previously. He might not, it might not be the exact same guy, but he sees in you, oh, you was the type of person that didn't talk, wouldn't talk to me before I was winning in life. So that's all right. And a lot of y'all don't get that. You know, I know there's a fine line between dating for potential and, you know, um, dating a loser. You get what I'm saying? Like, you know, this person could potentially be great, but you see their work ethic. Or this person could potentially be great because you see their potential, but they don't have the work ethic and you wind up with a buster, right? So that happens. But a lot of y'all just don't get that the, the rich guy you're looking for was probably a poor middle class guy. I don't care if he was um, a nerd or an athlete. You know, he wasn't who you wanted at the time. And the reason why I said I saw this a lot, because I've, I've saw where people, I've seen where people have made it, but they still, you know, they still, they're still chill. They're still low key. And they look like regular people, right? They're just regular people walking around and and I've seen people disrespect them because they feel like you ain't nothing, you ain't nobody, you you ain't nobody I should be, you know, jumping through hoops for. And then somebody else taps and say, you don't know who that is? Like, who, that bum? Like, no, that's such and such and such and such. They worth such and such amount of money. And then they're, hey, how you doing, baby? It's like, no, nah, no, thank you. And he's right about, about the guys who get, who quote unquote dog out women. A lot of you ladies who are chasing the bag because you're chasing the men with the bag, your complaints about uh, toxic men and being cheated on and trauma, the bulk of your complaints are BS. 
And the reason why I'm not going to say that they're BS because you're trying to get with a guy when he's up and you want this guy to be all these faithful things to you. And nine times out of 10, that guy sees how you treat regular people. That guy sees how you act. And it's like, and when he sees it, like, ah, you, that's okay. Or then they assume, you know, you ladies will say, you know, I don't want to talk to you for the money. Well, all these other chicks want to talk to me for the money. And they say they don't want to talk to me for the money. And guess what? You saying the same thing, but I'm different. And you wind up in a, in a situation with Tyrese and his ex-wife, you know, talking about she didn't want none of his money. And now she's, you know, trying to break down the prenup. Like, oh, I didn't want it. I didn't want it. This is your stuff. Until you get with the guy and then you get entitled. And a lot of people don't really want to go down that road. You know, you've seen it. Guys have seen it to the point where, you know, these rich men realize that a family will pimp their daughter in hopes to break a rich man. Baby, go ahead and get with him. He's sick with him. You know, he, he, could, he could bring the he could bring the family up. You know, all you got to do is be with him. Let him make him fall in love with you. You know, let him do all those things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's okay, baby. We love you. We love you, man. We love you, James. Oh, man, you a blessing. You a blessing. And they, in the back room, you got like three, you got about six more months and you could divorce him and get half. Go on here, baby. Just stick it out, baby. That's what people do. You know? That's part of the child support hustle. The, ho the hopes is to get a rich guy. Rich guy. And those payments, you know, are, 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 are five to six figures a month. And it's like, oh, guess what I did? I popped out a rich man, baby, and I'm set for life. These guys see this stuff coming a mile away now. Y'all forget about Drake and the hot sauce? <laughs> you know, y'all forget about those stories? I mean, that's not the... He's not the first person. He, he he learned from plenty of rich guys prior to him. Like, hey, man, you got to do something with that because these chicks, says they no good. Oh, these ain't loyal. So this is what's going on. A lot of you ladies don't recognize it. You know, a lot of you ladies don't. Y'all see a guy one year and, he, and he's like, eh, whatever. And he, you see a guy the next year, he up. Same thing with, I would say, you know, attractiveness. You know, so, some guys are... Uh, women are attracted to him. They're like, he's fine. And then, you know, he get, he talks to a lot of women because he's fine. And then, you know, four or five years might go by and he fall, he gets out of shape. And then he he get, tells you all the stories of all the people he knocked down. And now, you know, he, he's, he's going, to, he's getting arrested for abusing his meeting at night the way he's beating on it. Um, you know, th these things happen. These things happen. So, Along the way, y'all don't pay attention. And I've seen it time and time again where, you know, oh, he, uh, he rich. I want to talk to you. That's part of the hey, big head scenario. You know, I ain't, I ain't know you had it like that. That's why a lot of rich guys are not in pl places where a lot of people are at. They, they're in their own little bubble of life. They, they go to their own places, their own secluded places. And only other rich people know because they don't want to get uh, uh, flocked by women. I'm gonna tell you a quick story. Um, there was a football team, NFL team, and a couple of the players got a couple other players to go to this exercise class. And you know, it, you know, it kind of like you know, it's, it's not a small class, it's not a big, it's like a cool class, you know. So. Guys out here, you know, it was it was hot yoga. I'm gonna just say it, it was hot yoga. So you know, they're in there, they're doing a hot yoga. They they they're stretching. They're getting, you know, they they're getting more flexible so they can get better on the field. And you know, bit by bit, you know, such and such, and you know, some of them they had the hot yoga. They yeah, 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 yeah. All of a sudden, the, the class get packed. Oh oh, the thoughts come out at yoga. The thoughts come out of yoga. The freaks come out of yoga. And now, you know, now they're in there in hot yoga, they're ready to pass out so they can fall in the lap of a ball player. <laughs> you know, I didn't know. You know, oh, alas. It's like, okay. But, you know, two weeks ago when nobody, you know, they, they didn't know, it was just guys in there working out, you know. But it happens. It happens. And you ladies don't realize it. And, and I'm going to go back to this and I'm going to end it. Y'all forget these guys used to be 
pizza delivery men, some of these successful guys, pizza delivery guys, waiters in restaurants, you know what I'm saying? Uh, um, used to have regular jobs and customer service. They used to, you know, they used to be at UPS or the post office. They, 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 did, they did regular stuff. And then they, you know, while they were working, you know, you know, there's, there's, there's this old thing where, remember this athlete, he was working at a furniture store. And then college pros, you get what I'm saying? So a lot of times y'all don't, you know, y'all don't realize then they see you disrespecting people who have regular nine to fives. Their parents were, you know, worked for the city or worked a garbage truck or, you know, you know, or was a plumber or electrician or something like that. And they see you talking sideways to people. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm dogging you out. Mm -mm, I'm dogging you out. Absolutely. Uh, and then you, oh, these men and they, they so tribes and they get a little money, they start feeling themselves. No, 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 no. Most of y'all not getting dogged out because these guys are dogs. Y'all getting dogged out because you're opportunistic jerks, so they're going to get you and, and drop you and let you compete with the other women and actually think you got a shot. But I digress. You tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, or die trying. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace. All I ask is when you lay your head on that pill at night, you know, I gave you everything I had.